Hello, this is the UWS News Bulletin at 3. I'm Lea Fabrini. And I'm Nicole Castles. With Halloween and Guy Fawkes Night approaching, firework safety is more of a concern. Jamie Glover investigates. I'm Jamie Glover reporting from Air Fire Station. This time of year with bonfire night just round the corner, fire services and ambulances are pushed to the limit. Today I'm trying to find out what people can do to alleviate any concerns you have. So I'm John Garrity, I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Health, Nursing and Midwifery. So obviously at this time of year there are many hazards in place in the community but hopefully not within campus sites and that relates to uh, bonfires, fireworks. Um, as a result of this or a consequence of this there can be injuries that do occur and it's a known fact that a uh, casualty in a &E in local hospitals do um, receive a significant rise in the number of uh, injuries that come in as a result of fireworks. Um, I have pets at home, I have cats, so um, I do like to make sure that they are securely indoors and our neighbours have dogs, so we always have to check with our neighbours before we set off, if we want to set fireworks off ourselves, because um, their dogs come out into the garden and start barking. Uh, and so we also have to make, make, obviously have to make sure with them that their pets are secure and safe. My main concern about safety in fireworks relates to um, skyrockets because I've seen all kinds of people doing really stupid things with skyrockets and I've seen them fired at people directly and things like that and um, I've actually had one run right up my arm and past my shoulder. It seems fireworks are still a major co safety concern in the community. I'm Jamie Glover, thanks for watching. Club de Mar, an air nightclub, has announced it will close for good but will open for one last farewell party this Halloween. Theodore Antonio has more. One of Scotland's longest running nightclubs is set to finally close its doors. After 28 years, Club de Mar is going to have its final night labelled as the death of Club de Mar. Um, I think it can go one of two ways. I think it'll either be really, really good mm -hmm. or it'll kind of fall flat on its face. Because oh. there's like big expectations, and with big expectations. So like... I'm here outside of Club de Mar to talk with Alfonso Santos Cruz, former employee, about Club de Mar's closure and last night. Yeah, Club de Mar used to be the place to go here and there a couple of years ago. And I worked there for the past year. I think it will be quite nostalgic. Um, uh, I'm surprised if a lot of older people were there, over maybe 30 plus. <laughs> we would sometimes host nights for, for gear towards older people, but considering the fact that the final night is number 21, so we would be surprised if it's got from that to older people. One could say the Club de Mar fell a victim of competition from not only clubs just in air, but also from nearby towns and Glasgow. This is Theodore Antonio for UWS Newsroom. On a lighter note, Lemon Hayes, a band in Paisley, will soon release her new single, Morning Sun. Tom McKinnon caught up with the band. We've got a couple of gigs lined up, playing the garage in Glasgow in November. Uh, 10th, 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 10
On the Sunday, the celebrations get even bigger to make room for more performers and one of the biggest markets to ever visit air. On the main stage, we will see Mark Cox and Jane McGarry, Clan and Drummer, a tribal band also known as Children of the Drum, and X Factor star Emily Middlemass. Run, run, run. I'm Brody Gettins, UWS News, Air. Now, over to sport with Gregor Hines. There's been a significant rise in the female participation in Scottish athletes. Ryan Cromery spoke to Philippa Millage and Mary Hendry. Um, it's such a good community be, to be part of. You meet so many amazing girls that you might not have met just in your normal life. You've got a common interest. It's a really good way to um, create goals, focus, be driven. Philippa went on to explain the opportunities athletics provides to meet others. Just part of that community that you might not have had access to and I've met some amazing friends, new friends over the years and it just gives girls that kind of empowerment and drive to, to achieve things. Mary Hendry, a young athlete herself, describes why she is stuck with athletics. I think it doesn't always, like if someone isn't interested in athletics, that's kind of fair dues, but a sport that you're kind of interested in and it's quite a lot of help if you have a few friends that are into that sport. Like none of my friends from school still run, but I've made so many new friends from so many different places through running that it's always fun. Scottish athletics is undoubtedly on the rise. I've been Ryan Crombie, UWS News. Thanks Ryan. Last night, Celtic fans won the FIFA Best Support Award as voted by football fans across the globe. Lewis Brill has more. Celtic were crowned as the best fans in the world last night by FIFA at the Best Awards in London. We're here at Celtic Park today to catch up with some Celtic fans about how they feel about this. Well, not a surprise. I think everybody knows it and it's good recognition. And uh, how important do you think the fans are going to be in more than Celtic to ten in a row? Well, I think, I think it's always been part of Celtic. I think you see that when you do the stadium tour there, when you're in here, you know, you see the the um, TIFOs and that they do. And I think, you know, just being at Bayern Munich, uh, Bayern Munich um, club and police and that, you know, said, you know, that they've um, handled themselves well. Players are always saying it. So I think you know when you when you run out Celtic Park and you've got that batting. I think you know ten in a row. Yeah, without a doubt. Outstanding, beautiful. Nothing can beat it. Always knew it was going to happen. We are the we are the people. And how how important do you think the fans are going to be in road in Celtic to ten in a row? As always important as they've always been. Always are. We're the best. And then since Brendan Rodgers came in, how do you think he's got the bond between the fans and the players stronger? Because he's one of our own. Mm -hmm. He's one of our own. And he's a good lad. He's a good man. And he knows the club inside out. And he knows what it means to be a Celtic fan. And that was the Celtic fans who seemingly already knew they were the best fans in the world, but it's always nice to have it in writing, isn't it? The best fans in the world will return here on Saturday when they face Kilmarnock in their next home game. I've been Lewis Biro for UWS News. Thank you, Lewis. I'm Gregor Hines, and this was the UWS Sports Desk. Thank you, Gregor. That's all from UWS News for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Lea Fabrini. And I'm Nicole Castles.